now this way we have applied all the dead loads now we will apply live load again select on load cases and detail choose add and here we will type live load we can simply type ll for live load and here we will choose live okay and click on add and close it now select it and again click on add now we will apply floor load okay just like wall load we will apply the floor load here also okay click on floor load and now how much load we should apply to check the live load we will have to go to is875 part 2 live load so this is the code where we can check the uh, self weight is875 part 2 imposed load okay now let us go to table 1 in this table 1 for the residential building the loads are given the live load which can be considered it is given okay so for all rooms and kitchen 2 kilo newton per meter square for toilet and rooms it is 2 kilo newton per meter square for corridor passage and staircase it is 3 kilo newton per meter square for balconies also it is 3 kilo newton per meter square so this load we have to apply while designing the building for actual building we apply separately for the rooms and kitchen and for corridors also we uh, apply the load separately but here for this project we will directly take the value 3 ok let us go to start pro again select live load click on add floor load y range and minus 3 kilo newton per meter square this will be the live load ok live load of the residential building now we will give the range from uh, Five meter to eleven meter. Okay. And click on add and then close. Now we have applied the live load three kN per meter square to the first floor, second floor, and terrace floor. Most of the time while designing the building, we give five kN per meter square on the terrace. Uh, because sometimes people use terrace as a storage so that's why we sometimes give the higher value but for this particular uh, basic video we will take the 3 kN per meter square to the entire building now these are all the primary loads sulfate of the beams and column sulfate of the slab wall load and the live load now we will create the load combination 